bro? Man, I first of all, let me give some props to both of y'all brothers, all right? Mm. All right. First of all, going through what y'all been through today, it has to be a lot, especially you fresh. Those who have been here long enough with the show has known that Fresh brings his own value compared to Myron. It's different, so there's nothing wrong with that. That's one. And second, hats off to both of y'all. Y'all, y'all went from how y'all was from back in the day to how y'all are now. So really props to y'all, man. I really respect both of y'all. How far y'all came now? How far y'all came? Thanks, bro. Appreciate that, my friend. That's love. Yo, you, you, no problem. <laughs> Caller, um, you know what you sound like? My question it's is, like Tyrone. What do I sound like? Hey, man, it's Tyrone. Tyrone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The same. Well, he's Hispanic. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, you Hispanic? But, um, yeah, let me just ask my question real quick. Yeah, y'all look tired. I ain't trying to keep y'all, mm. keep y'all going for too long now. Go ahead. Yeah. Um, so my twin brother and I has an ice cream business called Twin Road Ice Cream. And uh, we're a catering company, and we make road ice cream. We get majority of, of our customers to Instagram. Mm-hmm. And we, I wanted to ask you guys for an advice. Uh, what could we do differently on our Instagram to get more followers and also to get more um, more uh, more bookings? Very good question. Uh, so recently, uh, as you guys know, I started a business with some friends of mine uh, for car rentals and for car acquisitions, right? And the main thing that happened to us is that we saw a spur, a splurge, or for example, a rise in customers because we started posting reels that are relevant to the times and TikToks. So for you, with ice cream... I would find either relative videos that are very, uh, I want to say, um, close to what you have, what you got, got going on, and recreate that for yourselves um, for reels and TikToks. Now, ice cream, I'm not too familiar with myself, but I, what I can say is I would actually Google search or uh, Instagram search or TikTok search ice cream. I look at people's creative videos of what they've done, you know, before you. Then create your own videos. Maybe for example, um, having, uh, I don't know. Uh, somebody sample ice cream or a dog you, you want to have videos that will go viral about ice cream and then you're going to say hey guys for more, more videos like this or more content like this come to our page which is going to show the actual link in your bio to your actual uh website or store or address because you want to create people or funnel them in through content and then convert those people to actual uh, buyers of your product um so that's why i would do for example and ideas wise like i said before go to tiktok Go to Instagram Reels, look at previous people that came before you, what they're doing with their shops, and curate it based off of your actual environment to your benefit. And post Reels or TikToks, that's what I would do. Yeah, thank you for that, brother. I really appreciate that. Mm. Um, but the thing is, uh, I've actually done that. I've actually done that. I have okay. took the time to do my deep uh, research on my ice cream product and how it works up and down A and B and the likes of it. Good. But the thing from what I'm seeing is uh, my 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 uh, my following base is not going up, right? Uh, I find that in the summer when I was selling, right now it's more so in the winter time. I okay. D- I live in D.C. Uh, so right now we're in the winter time, so things are slowing down. But in the summertime when I first started selling my ice cream, I started getting more followers, and and that was mainly because of word uh, word of mouth. I'd be like, hey, if you guys like my ice cream, subscribe, uh, uh, subscribe, uh, follow me on Instagram mm-hmm. and TikTok. That's how I was able to uh, build my follower base. Good. But now it's in the winter time. I'm trying to transform. I'm trying to go from selling outside since it's cold to in- indoors, and I'm watching all these content creators making the content, and I'm trying to mimic them, right? And I'm and I'm doing it, and, and it's working slowly. But mm-hmm. I just want to, you know, get to the. I j- I just want to be at a respectable number, you know, because right now when people go to my page, all they see is okay, yeah, it looks nice and all, but you know, we need more followers so people could know that. What I got going on is legit, legit. so they'd be more enticed yeah. to bookings, you know? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So, so um, No, no. So yeah, and you also, done... I wanted to ask, do you, do you guys think I should um, buy followers? I don't think so, because I, I kind of want to work off credibility. Mm. But I don't know. What do you guys think? Yeah, so off of the question alone, uh, to be honest with you, that's what most people do. They have a business, and they prop it up with followers, along with real followers, to make that mix. And all your famous celebrities, actors, that's what they do, bro. Now, granted... You can do organic as well, but it's a slow process. So it's going to take time to build that up, and that's just the nature of business. Organic following takes time. It could take months. It could take years. It just takes time. Granted, though, what you should do is currently you said before you made real TikToks, which is great, but it's plateauing. And ice cream, like most other uh, products, have seasons of highs and lows. So ultimately, it may not always be streamlined faster or going as fast as you want, 
but it will grow over a consistent period of time doing the work. Now, regarding actually going viral and making more content and getting more followers, what you can do is do collaborations. So for example, let's say there's an actual business close to you. Let's say you know, ice cream, you could do like maybe cake, right? There's a cake business in your area or maybe a truck that does cakes or dessert, right? They have a following already. Say, hey, listen, man, I'm down the street. This is my business here. Let's do a collaboration. Maybe we could do like a, a free event or maybe, for example, uh, a testing area for most people in, in a crowded uh, environment. Make that collab happen. Make double posts. Uh, do collaboration posts on that and that actual reel or TikTok. And then from there, you can go out like, organically doing that. But ultimately, bro, like I said before, big businesses yeah. and other creators yeah. and also as well celebrities, they buy followers to mix with their real followers to have a bigger, I want to say, appeal. And they get brand deals doing that. But ultimately, as a creator, as a business owner, you want to decide for yourself what you want to do. You can do organic, which is slower, takes a lot more time, but it does have a better uh, ROI. Or you could do as well uh, paid followers or, for example, promotions and get that appeal right away. Up to you. Yeah, thank you so much for that. I really appreciate that. Um, I've actually started hitting up this week. I've started hitting up influencers and, you know, people who has a lot of big following on social media. So hopefully they'll, we can collapse soon. Well, you know, so it, may, that, like a, it may cost you for some for some collabs, but I, I think it's worth it if the if the actual um, engagement is good. I think it's worth it. Um, just depends yeah. on who, who you get. But again, it could be a small business in your area too as well that's doing pretty well. Just collab with them and make it work. For sure. Thank you so much, man. And um, if you guys plan on having the next party in Miami, whatever the case may be, you guys can book. You guys can book me, and I'll come out there and make some ice cream for you guys. All on me. All right. Oh, cool. Well, I like ice cream, man. So yeah, yeah, uh, no I'm down for that. Oh man, yeah, 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 I'm missing out, man. <laughs> where's your where, Where's your uh, uh, store yeah, located? No. You said uh, you said uh, I'm located. I'm located in DC, Maryland. DC, DC area, right? DC, basically the DMV. Yo, I'm shut, in the DMV. shout out your Instagram, bro. Tell them uh, what's what, what's your Instagram? Where they can find you? Yeah, guys, uh, my my Instagram is uh Twin Road. It's Twin, R O L L E D. It's me and my twin brother. We make ice cream or catering company. So if you're whenever you're having a big event whether it's celebrities or birthday parties or graduation or corporate event, mm. feel free to call. My twin brother will be there at your at your event. Shout out to you, bro. All Keep right. going strong, bro. You got it, man. Awesome. Uh, let's Thanks hit a so few. Much, thank, thank you for right. calling in, bro. Let's hit a few more uh, uh, paid callers. Uh, shout out to y'all ninjas for waiting on the line and being patient. Appreciate it, man. Uh, we're trying to, we're still going See, a little overtime here for y'all. He's trying his business, uh, business out. He's working on a business, trying to uh, excel. That's what I call entrepreneurship moving forward yeah. not lose your mindset absolutely yep so, facts it's good